Good afternoon and welcome to Paint with Pam. A little afternoon original in the middle of this hot summer here. I am blessed to have this teeny weeny, itsy bitsy teeny weeny handmade sketchbook. I got this from a gallo with one of my orders. So it's a little handmade sketchbook with Fabriano paper and it's just delightful. So this week, I wanted to give you a peek into what I've been doing in the afternoons. I'm not in my studio, as you can probably see with the background. I'm in my recliner with my little cats and family around me. But I have just been playing in the evening with this little notebook doing little flower miniatures. And it's been really fun and relaxing. These are my imaginary flowers, so don't look for too much detail. But um, it's my first one. I like that one. That's kind of like one of my little um, violets, wild violets that I have in my yard. Some more little wildflowers from outside. I do these with my watercolors. Uh, these particular watercolors that I'm using are from a gallo. They're from Assisi, Italy and handmade. And I just absolutely adore them. Um, so that's what I've been using. What I've decided was, even if it's not perfect, that to me this one's not perfect, um, I'm just gonna leave them alone. There's little miniature fun things to do. So um, that's what I'm doing. Some little daisies or whatnot. Did this one this afternoon while watching the Olympics. Kind of like that one. And then this one is really special and let me tell you why. This little imaginary flower garden is not only special in my little notebook, but it's painted with a very special paint. You have probably been hearing about, if you hadn't, I'll let you know, Yin Min Blue. Yin Min Blue is the first blue pigment discovered in over 200 years. It was discovered approximately five years ago by some students at University of Oregon actually quite by accident. They weren't really sure what they had, but when they discovered it, it made quite a splash, no pun intended, in the watercolor world. And oil paint and acrylic, it's being produced in all of the above now. Um, very hard to get. That's why it's taken about five years. Different laboratories have been working on it and trying to see what they can do with this pigment. And the paint itself isn't new, it's the pigment that's new. Uh, the technical name, as you can see on here, is L-I-N, capital M-N. That stands for the two compounds that they had put together uh, that created this blue. So I was fortunate enough, you know me, if I see something new, I gotta get it. I put myself on a wait list. And as soon as it was available from CORE, because I have been on this wait list, they contacted me and said, we are ready with our blue. They have it also in oil as well as acrylic, I do believe, but because I'm a watercolorist, that's what I wanted. So I told them I wanted the watercolor and they said, how many tubes? Can you believe that? So because it's only a five milliliter, I said three. So I got three tubes of Lin, Lin or Yin Min blue. There's discussion about how to say it. So I created this little watercolor garden out of my Yin Min Blue. It's very staining. It's very close to, people say it's kind of a combination between ultramarine blue and a cobalt blue. And here's a little picture of what I did this afternoon. I love it. It's a really pretty color. And I don't even know if this video does it justice. But that's my little Yin Min Blue make-believe imaginary garden for you this afternoon to introduce you to the color. 
Uh, I know other companies are quickly making it available and um, I'm sure it'll soon be on the market everywhere. But I'm really fortunate to get one of the first from Core Watercolor and um, did a little painting here in my tiny little sketchbook. Thanks for watching and join me again. I'll do some more videos. Thanks, bye.